And we're recording. There's not going to be a soundtrack. We'll wave. No, on the other hand. So it can be in frame. Yeah. It should be, I think, four back and forths. Yeah, there it is. Now, if you move in t past the inner circle, it'll start ex extruding. If you move out past the outer circle, it'll go up a layer. Got it? Yeah. So, yeah, when it draws a line, it's actually extruding. And it'll go a little slower on the first layer, but after that, it'll go pretty much as fast as you can move your hand. Yeah, you gotta go into the inner circle. Is that a W? It's a W. Not a very, uh... What we've learned today is I'm not very good at drawing with my hand in the air. Not good at staying in the lines? Uh, especially because I'm, I'm really, like, sort of beyond where I need to be. Yeah... It's probably not helpful that the connect's at an angle and the screen is at an angle. Yeah, you don't want to get too much in the same area. <laughs> You'll end up a blob. Not that it isn't. No, I would have definitely failed our class. You would have failed uh, gestural printing class? Yeah. So, um, yeah. Probably what I should have done is... Uh, ooh. What was that? I think it was, uh, like a piece of the thing that's... Anyway, probably what I should have done is you can draw an outline and then it'll fill in the shape and print that. Would end up, uh, quite a bit cleaner. Yeah, not sure what to do about that. Keep your fingers together, I think that might help. Mm, that's the same place every time. Hmm. Yeah, you, maybe... Yeah, you're getting like close to something and it's thinking it's part of your hand or something. It really needs to be like in a clear space. <laughs> Don't worry, that'll, that'll come right out. <laughs> Making the outside ones wider or something? No, uh, putting a tower in the middle. Oh boy. Probably fix that too. <laughs> yes, it looks exactly like what I drew. Nice.